For the following exercises, write the domain and range of each function using interval notation. All right, so let's just remember, you know, domain is simply the possible uh, x values, right, that the function is allowed to have. So it's just the set or the, uh, I don't want to use the word range, but it is, uh, it's the range, so to speak, of x values, okay? Whereas the range, the real range, is going to be the set of uh, y values that can be obtained given uh, the domain of the function. So uh, in other words, let's just take a look at the example. So on our first example here, when we're trying to think of the domain, we're thinking about all the possible x values that this function can obtain. Now there's an arrow out here. What, what that means is that this thing continues on forever and ever and ever and ever, okay, all the way out in that direction. That being the case, we know that this thing goes all the way out to the negative infinity on the x-axis. As far as the rightmost point of the graph, it goes all the way out to x is equal to 1 here, right? And it is inclusive of this point. If you notice, it is a filled-in circle. So therefore, the domain of this particular function will be all the way from negative infinity. Okay, we always write the lowest, the lower value first and the higher value second. Exclusive of it, because you can't actually include infinity. It's, a, it's a, just an idea. It's not a number. Um, all the way to 1. Inclusive of it. All right, remember the parentheses means exclusive and the brackets means inclusive. Now just doing the range, okay, we think about it very similarly. This graph is going to continue on forever. So we know the highest point it's going to reach is actually going to be positive infinity for the y value. Okay. The lowest point that it reaches on the y scale is going to be y is equal to zero. Right? Inclusive of that as well because the dot here was filled in. So now it's going to go all the way from y is equal to 1 all the way to positive infinity, and you can't include that because it's infinity. So this would be the domain and range and interval notation. Doing the next one should be just as simple, right? Leftmost point of the graph is x is equal to 4, and it includes it. The graph is going to go on forever, so in the x direction it goes on off into infinity. So thinking about the domain of this, it's going to include negative 4, and it's going to go all the way out to positive infinity, exclusive of it. The range now is going to be similarly, you now look at drawing horizontal lines, right? Right. The lowest y value here is going to be negative 2, inclusive of it because the circle here is filled in. And now it looks like, and this is a little tricky, but if you zoom in enough, it's going out like this. Okay, the graph does have a slope to it. And therefore, this arrow means it's going to go on and on forever. So it's going to go all the way up eventually to positive infinity in the y direction. Okay. So the lowest y value is negative 2, inclusive of it, so that's why the bracket, all the way up to then positive infinity, exclusive of it. So this is the set for domain and range. Last but not least, there's numbers all over the place. So this one we have to deal with in two pieces, okay? There's two parts to the graph. There's one part over here, and then there is another part over here. First, let's look at this particular piece. The leftmost point of the graph is going to be x is equal to negative 6. So this is the lowest point of the domain. Then, so we know that, and it's inclusive. It's tough to see, but that is a filled in, zero, uh, filled in circle. And then it tells us, now at this particular location, it gives us the ordered pair here that defines this filled in point. What's the x value of this point here? Well, it's negative one-sixth, right? That is how coordinates are given, x comma y. So we know now for this particular piece of the graph, we do indeed know that um, the domain here for that part is going to be negative six comma inclusive of it all the way to negative one sixth inclusive of it. So that takes care of this first half. All right, so now let me just erase these arrows just to make it a little cleaner. And now we realize that we got to do the second half, okay? So now, notice the graph on the second part, the leftmost portion of it goes all the way out to one-sixth, okay? Inclusive of it because it's filled in. So now I'm going to write another bracket, one-sixth now, inclusive of it, and it's going to go all the way on out in the positive x direction, all the way out to six, because that's what it told me. Inclusive of it because the circle's filled in. Now, since you have two components that the x value could have been at any point on this graph, or, that's the key word, or, any point on this graph, anytime you hear the word or, 
it is considered a union. That's why you're going to see the U there. Okay, so this would be now the domain of the function. And the range we would think now similarly, right? So the range, again, two, point, two parts. Okay, we're going to look at each piece independently. I'm going to look at the first piece here and then look at the second piece uh, on the top, right? The lowest point it reaches is y is equal to negative 6. The highest point it reaches right here is, as it told me, y is equal to negative 1 sixth. So I know for the leftmost portion, it's going to go inclusive now of negative 6 all the way out to negative 1 sixth, inclusive. Or we could have been over here, right? So union, I'm going to use another bracket because I know all of these dots are filled in, so I know they're all going to be inclusive. So the lowest y value of the second part now is going to be positive 1 sixth, right, all the way up to 6. So let's just write it down all the way up to six. And there we go, right there we have it. So uh, that will indeed be the range. And if you notice, they're basically identical, okay, the, for this particular graph. So guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.